Hey guys, this is Rye123 here, and today we are going to be doing a um, another scripting tutorial. Um, and today, well, not scripting, sorry, it's just a normal tutorial. There's no scripting in this one, but today we will be learning about terrain. I didn't actually get a suggestion for this one, but I figured it's something everyone should know because it makes your game look pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, I was just messing around with it for a second, so let's wait for it to go away. So, terrain is basically, here, let me just make a flat land mass. Terrain is basically like a floating island made up of um, a bunch of little cubes, as you can see if I remove one. They're just little cubes. Um, and what it does is basically it just randomly generates a terrain for you. Now, there are ways to edit it, and we'll get into those in a second. But first, let me just show you the straight up generator. So this is the terrain generator. You can mess with the offsets, which basically means how far left or right you want it from the origin point, but that's not really important. You can edit the width and the length to make your floating island bigger or smaller. Amplitude is how crazy you want the mountains, and frequency is how often you want the mountains to occur. Base height is how t tall the... Um, base of it is basically um, if you want mountains you're gonna want to leave this pr pretty low and water height is basically where you want the water at in your mountainous region so let's go ahead and take a look at our terrain and see what it makes us um, it usually takes a second so just give it a sec and it will eventually load and yes I'm totally stalling right now because I'm waiting for it to load So let me open up this so we can reference it. So as you can see here, we have our water. It's pretty high. The mountains go to about um, 46 high. So that's why the water is so high because it's about half of it. Um, the frequency was not that high, so we did not get that many mountains. But the cool thing about this water is, I actually want to show you this. Um, let me just start a play test. Is that you can actually sorry, I'm walking really slow. So that you can actually swim in it. Like it actually gives you a little animation and you can swim around and so if you want like a scuba diving place, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um Whoa, does it even do like the... Wow, that's cool. It even has a little animation to it. So, the next thing... Uh, the next things I'm going to show you, we are just going to make a teeny little island because it's easier to work with. So, let's take that down, take that down, make it smaller. Um, no water. And let's do it fairly high. This is going to look kind of funny. Yep, there we go. All right. Um, sorry about that camera shake. I got a comment about shaking the camera too much. That one was an accident. So, as you saw before, this one's our builder, which just builds a single block, which can be kind of tedious. This one's our remover, which is it can only remove a single block, which is even more tedious. But here's the elevation adjuster. So if you wanted, you could adjust the radius. Um, so the radius is how many you affect. And as you can see here, we're moving it up and down. So you can make your own mountains. You can affect the slope as to how steep it is. As you can see, the little blocks on the side are straight up instead of our usual, like, kind of half curved. Um, so we could probably basically do almost the whole island. But yep, and then you can go down to make a giant crater. 
that's pretty useful in some games. Um, a brush, which basically, it's like an easier way to remove and add terrain. So if I wanted to add on a second layer or whatever, or I could remove, I can edit the radius and how much I want to add on. The next thing is a crater, which does what it says. It makes a hole in the ground. You can edit the depth and the radius, just like always. It'll smooth it out for you. That's pretty cool. Um, next is roads. So what you do with roads is you click where you want to start and click where you want to end. And I know that it doesn't really look like a road, but it basically helps you to make a road. I don't know how, but hey, that's just what it says. I don't know if I would ever use that. This one is a material brush. This is where it gets pretty cool. So let's say, um, yeah, let's say we made a mountain. Let's kind of make it look like a real mountain. That doesn't look like a real mountain, but whatever. And then we get the material brush and we want to paint it so we'll click on this stony color we'll make the size bigger and we can paint the mountain we can also paint it water apparently that works there's lego red lego this other i think that's still lego this rocky moss color this weirdo like checkered color this color that looks like minecraft gravel this logs um kind of a brownie i think it's supposed to be wood it's yellow more gray even more gray some black oh gray brick yellow and back to grass so Let's see if it'll let me undo all the way back down to where this is flat. Okay. So, um, two more things. We have the stamper, which will... Um, I never really used this, so hold on. Um, looks like it just stamps stuff. <laughs> so, let's get rid of all that. Um, and the last thing is the flood fill, and for this I'm going to need a crater. What flood fill does is it takes something like this, and if you come over here, and whatever level you click at, so let's click right here, it will fill it. After some time, it may take a sec. But yeah, if you wanted to fill a crater with water or with Lego or whatever, I don't know why you would want to. I use it mostly for water. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Ooh, we're swimming. Okay. And that's pretty much it. However, I don't recommend using the flood fill up above because then it will fill up the whole map and it'll take forever. So stop. Stop. Okay as you can see there and it will just keep going until you tell it to stop so that's it for um today's tutorial i hope you guys learned a bit about terrain and how to work it so you can make your place looking nice excuse me just for kind of like an object example i went ahead and pulled up a place i made um this one isn't on roblox so don't go looking for it but it's a Lord of the Rings place. Um, it's not even close to done, as you can see. But over here in Hobbiton, I used the elevation feature to make the Hobbit holes, as you can see. And over here in Rivendell, I kind of made it like a little valley with the waterfall coming down. That looks pretty cool. And then right here, I made some stone steps going up and out of it, which is pretty cool. I made huge mountain ranges, the Missy Mountains and stuff, even though right there don't look like mountains. 
And then Moria. Moria was fun. So I cut out this whole hallway. Cut out this room. This room took forever. This room took like a whole day to cut out. Then I cut out these stairs and then you can leave the mountain. And then I stopped. But anyways, so yeah. That's just a practical example of what you can use terrain for. I don't know why I use such a white color for the mountains. I think mountains are more gray. But anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. Post a comment about anything you'd like to see scripted and or um, tutorialized. <laughs> and what, what did I say? Comment subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed that's it and i'll see you guys in the next one um have a good time till then and see ya